Enemy Militia presents Calm Sense. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to the new series, Common Sense. It's been quite some time since I've actually done a video with my own voice. So why not come out with a bang? And come out with a new series? And speak on a, t a topic, a subject, that many people overlook. They overshadow it. It's overcasted. And that's photography. Or haram photography to be more specific. Um, but before I begin with that, let me ask you a couple of questions. What's the difference between cocaine and heroin? Absolutely nothing. Besides the chemical makeup of it and the process of it, it still has the, old, the same purpose, the same goal, to get you high. What's the difference between vodka and beer, besides the chemical process of it and, and, and the chemical makeup of it? Absolutely not a single difference. Simply because it has, still has the ultimate goal, to get you drunk, to get you tipsy, to make you feel good, to make you loosen up. You know, I believe it says in the Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, which clearly states that they will call wine by a different name. They will make haram halal. And it's sad in today's age, where there are very illustrious ulama throughout the world, who are making haram halal. There's no doubt about that. There are ulama that are saying that free mixing is allowed, that touching the opposite sex of non-mahram is allowed. But that's a completely different topic. So let me ask you something. What is the difference between drawing a person or an animal on a piece of paper and drawing it on an electronic device? Because we have modern age today, various technologies can do that. Can you tell me the difference? There is no difference. You want to know why? Because it's just two different instruments that's being used for the same ultimate purpose. Now, many of you may be saying, well, hey, it's the intention behind the drawing of whether you're trying to recreate a lost creation. That is a bunch of garbage, people. Common sense. Wake up. There is no difference. There is absolutely 110% not a single ounce of difference. You're just using a different tool. So now let's get into photography, either by a snapshot camera or a video camera. Now, many of you may be saying, well, Achie, that, okay, the thing is we're not trying to recreate a lost creation as if we are drawing because we're not really putting into the effort. We're just really pressing a button and voila, it's done. Kind of like a magical process, so to speak. We're actually capturing it in it's very essence. We're not distorting it. We're not manipulating it. <laughs> a, that is the biggest losing argument I've ever heard in my life. That is the biggest excuse I have ever heard in my life. Because anybody, and I mean anybody who studies the basic technical aspects of a camera, knows that it stores the image. Now many of you say, but hey, it's how it's processed because really it's a reflection. No, it's not. If you look into a mirror, that's your reflection. When you move, that reflection disappears. So, in essence, it's not hard on for, to look into a mirror because, you know, see what I'm saying? Now, many people get smart and try to take a picture of the, of the reflection in the mirror. That's still hard on. Common sense, people, wake up. So, getting to the camera aspect, you're looking now at a soft image and a hard image. Now, a soft image is transferred to an electronic device, you know, whether to, to tape or to a computer screen or to a cell phone, okay? And a hard image, which is transferred to paper. You know, you take a picture of uh, an, an individual or whatever, and you print it to make it a photograph. And a camera prints it onto a film strip, which that's an old way of looking at it, but that's how it's done. So what's the difference? Well, they're both made out of pixels. Anybody looks at a photograph, it's comprised and compiled into pixels, just like a TV works. Right? And a hard image 
well, which is, is made up of pixels, but a soft image is the exact same thing. It's just in a stasis. It stays in there. So if you take a picture of a human being or an animal, it's completely haram. Because you're not actually drawing it, you're pressing a button, so you're taking an easy way out. So, in turn, it's being stored into that device. Now, if you were to say, I'm deleting it right then and there. Okay, but you still did the sin of taking a picture of an animate object. Alright. Now, when you film it, you're still doing the exact same thing. In fact, you're doing a little bit more. Because you're having to aim and zoom in and, and do the aspect ratios and things of that nature. Which is really the same as drawing. But like I said, there are illustrious ulama who are saying it's permissible when they once said that it was completely haram. And when they come back and explain why they've made it halal, it's completely bogus. My seven-year-old niece can debate that scholar and beat him. You know, what's even funnier and more surprising is, of course, as many of you who know my channel, know that I'm the only Muslim in my entire family history on both sides. I have no Muslims around me. But I've asked Kufar, I've asked my immediate family, my parents and my brothers, and I've asked them, what is the difference of drawing in a, a person and taking a picture of a person? Well, they said there is no difference, it's just different tools that you're using. SubhanAllah, you have Kufar that don't even understand this. Yet illustrious ulama and very knowledgeable people don't understand this. Common sense people, wake up. It is forbidden to take a picture of, or film, or draw, or paint, or sketch, or etch an animate object, a person or an animal. It's mutawatir, it's clear cut. You don't have to be a genius to understand this. You don't need to be a photography expert to understand this. The evidence is there, brothers and sisters, but in today's age, Islam is being corrupted by modernists just to please the kuffar, just to please one's nafs. And those ulama, those speakers that are very famous that a lot of people watch, I ask you to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well for what you have made halal, what was once haram. And you need to understand clear cut that there is absolutely not a single shred of evidence, solid concrete evidence, that can support your claim what you have made halal that was once haram. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.